The following video has been rated as 15. This means that anyone seeing this message that is under the age of 15 years should click off this video now. Tubers. This is YouTube, and you just caught me checking my heart rate and I can confirm it's at a safe level. <laughs> I mean, welcome to another episode of The Human Behind the Rabbit. So when I talk about my heart rate, what do I mean by safe level? Well, I actually have a condition called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, also known as merely POTS. And this affects my blood pressure to make it seem a bit more abnormal than those who don't actually have it. So just checking my levels now, they were at about 95%, which is pretty good. Um, but from probably a normal per person's point of view, that actually could seem a bit low, but it's my normal and it's perfectly fine with me. Like, I'm still alive. Hello. <laughs> you call that humour? That wasn't even funny. Me too. We, we could do without the sarcasm, you know. But the people love my sarcasm. Okay. Um, another thing that I want to point out about these sort of levels from a normal person's point of view from say about a hundred and something that might seem normal but for me it feels like I'm practically dying like it makes me really really ill like so ill that I have to be horizontal like it gets that bad she's not lying I've seen her so bad, she loses her colour. It's even worse when she's on her period. You could mistake her for a corpse. Also, have I ever fainted? Not to my knowledge, but I have had every now and again, when my POTS is really, really bad, I become semi-conscious. And that's not really that fun at all. Um, so yeah, wrapping that up, I also wanted to show you guys what the type of things that I use while out and about. So let's get to it. So first off are these little stickman cards. So these have really helped in properly, properly describing the disabilities that I have. So I've got one for selective mutism and one for my hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and another one for POTS which I've just explained and I've kind of made this makeshift one for my complex PTSD because the the person that makes the cards has not yet made one for PTSD or complex PTSD, but once they do, I'll get it straight away. Um, I've also bought these dividers separately. So the yellow one is basically explaining my medical condition. I've got a red divider showing people that I'm actually having a hard time today. So might need some help or just a little bit more TLC and the green one, Mito, please don't get upset. It's basically regarding my future assistance dog. Future assistance dog? What's wrong with the present? When they get here. So it basically just describes the law regarding assistance dogs and how people should react to an assistance dog. Uh, yeah, I'll leave all the 
links of all the things that I'll be showing to you guys in the description below. But honestly, I wish I knew about these cards sooner because they really help. And thinking back on some of the bad experiences that I've had in the past, those could have really helped at that time. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you, you've seen previously, is the Sunflower Lanyard. This basically is a product to show other people that I have a invisible disability. To be honest, I really, really like the pattern. Although it was brought to my attention that people were taking the piss, thinking that these can make you mask exempt. They can't. And I've also seen quite a lot of sort of fakes of these, like being sold online. And one time I did go past like a shop by Ride Pier that sold lanyards that looked incredibly similar to these, which did bother me quite a bit. So much that I had to basically put it out on Instagram saying that it's not, it's not okay to be selling fakes. Like, unless you genuinely are mask exempt, which I am not, don't get it. <laughs> it's, it's not worth the stress, okay? Um, yeah, or I've also got a little card. I've basically made it personalized for me. So it's basically showing that I'm noise sensitive. I don't like being touched or having my space invaded. And like this, hold on. This one is just for future references. It's, hold on. It's basically a picture of someone with an assistance dog. And the other one is basically selling that I can't stand for very long. So anyway, yeah, those, those are cool. Um, also on the subject of me not liking people being in my space or touching me, I got this a couple years back. It's basically like a sort of vesty to bard sort of thing. Please give me space. And I, I never leave the house without it. Like my sensory problems are like so bad. Like, if you're in my space, it pisses me off if I don't know you. <laughs> so, bit of awareness. If you see someone wearing a product like this, do us all a favour and understand. Because <laughs> not everyone enjoys having their space invaded. Like, I'm not disclaiming that I'm autistic, I just basically have sensory problems. Um, was there anything else to talk about? Chew tube. Can I do the outro? I think it's the perfect job for me. Oh, do you now? I can be more consistent than you have been with this series. I mean, if, if you want to give it a go, you're, you're more than welcome to. I have the technique, so let's do it. Okay, since it's the end of the video, I'll bring little me too to do the sign off. Okay, so whenever you're ready, me too. This is me too, the working plush pup. Did you enjoy the video? If so, then I have something vital to say. Please like the video and subscribe to Chewtube's channel to see more fun videos. If you don't, I'll lose the ability to speak. So, please like and subscribe. Do you mind sharing the video as well? Pretty please. I like having a voice. Thank you. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Till then, to the mode out. I've been